So I've done a lot of uh, demonstrations on Gantt chart or all the likes with uh, Excel on my channel. And I usually don't use macros or Visual Basic or anything uh, like that. Uh, for several reasons. The first reason is more difficult to explain. The second is more complicated to do and and uh, it's more uh, difficult to share. As soon as you have uh, Visual Basic, obviously there's some programming in this and, uh, and Microsoft uh, and rightly so, they don't want spread viruses and the like, so they really have a lot of security around it. So it's not very easy because for me, this is the beauty of Excel. It's a development platform, but also it's also a software in itself. You can just uh, give it to anyone. Hey, here's my spreadsheet and they can just go ahead and code. But as soon as there is um, coding or visual basic or macros in it, then you have all the security stuff that, uh, that come into play. Having said that, I just wanted to show what can be done. Uh, so I'm not going to walk you through exactly everything. It's just a demonstration of what can be done. So I've done as a test here, I've done a, a small uh, timeline program uh, where you can actually have any type of timeline that you have. Here I've put 90 years <laughs> just to show you how, how crazy you can get. So I could have put just uh, five days and I split, split it into titles four titles and then events and milestones. So I can decide if something is an event, if something is a milestone. So the, the visual basic would go through all this and would spit out a, a Gantt chart. Now, what do I have? I have dependency here. I can tell you, uh, you this uh, is connecting to another shape and there is a shape number here. So this this would connect to, to, to that one. And, and I can just also add a star for an event. So just to show you, here I have two boxes, one where I can generate this. So that means that it takes all this into account and it creates the program. And the program itself is under developer Visual Basic here. Uh, and then you have the various modules here. So the, the bigger module is this one here. So as you can see, I had to do a, a little bit of work here to, to get it started. And what does that do? So I can highlight the advantage it has on just the standard Excel. And let's have a look. Now you can see that the main advantage is, uh, is that you can play around with shapes. Obviously you have a lot of flexibility also. You can do some calculation based on cell values and dependencies and the likes. But you, here what I like is you can give, uh, you know, you can make it look a little bit more professional. I mean, who would think this is Excel? I mean, and as far as colors is concerned, I've been pretty basic here. But uh, what you can see is you can ha you have the shadow here. It's a uh, shape as a shadow and it's not square. Oh my God, <laughs> we're moving away from the square. It's great. So uh, you can have the, the title just after, uh, if you like, uh, you can have milestones and you can have links between shapes. And this is something as soon as you go into the, the visual basic, you can have access to all the properties of a, of a shape and, uh, and which shape, every shape has a number and you can connect a shape to shape. And I'll show you how, you, how uh, this, this is working exactly. And then you can add a star. So this is what I did this. You can add a star, which is, let's say I want to add a star here. I go under event one, event one here, and I put a star yes, for instance. Now, Without doing anything, I go under the Gantt and there's no star here. And why is that? It's because the macro has to run and the ma my macro is behind this, is behind this. Uh, I think if you uh, go under assign macro, you realize there's a macro assigned to it. So I need to run the macro first and then go to timeline. That's just uh, to put me out of there. It's really uh, optional. And now you see there is a star. So that's the type of things you can do with, <laughs> you can do more than that, but it's just uh, to give you a quick demo, uh, for instance, on the advantage of this. Now, something else that, you can, that, that, that we can do, as mentioned, is that you can actually link shapes. And that looks more like Microsoft Project, which is the goal, I think, for every Gantt is to look, look like Microsoft Project, for instance. Let's say that I want to have a link between this event here, event one, and first WW, first World War. Okay, don't look at dates. Uh, so I need to go to event one and I need to connect to the shape uh, number two. Okay, so I just go to the shape number two. Here we go. Uh, I need to generate the timeline again. And after, after I go to the timeline, and you can see there is a link here. It takes the color of the first one, of the second one, sorry. And I can give you shapes here. 
And then you have all the flexibility of putting things in bracket and, and dynamically here uh, with Gantt charts. With that VBs, you need to have cells. You need to have every cell with a, with a formula, with anything in it. But with Visual Basic, you can say, okay, uh, go to this uh, position uh, based on the previous uh, item and then, uh, then go to the next cell or whatever. So you have a lot of flexibility. Uh, that you don't have but once again uh, don't want to uh, kill it but uh, if you can do it without VB my, my advice is to to avoid using uh, Visual Basic uh, the people who use the, the software will thank you as well um, but if you want to have fun uh, I suppose it's a good way to learn uh, to to do this to use Visual Basic on something you already have you already have without the VBs and then you try progressively to add some VBs component into it. Okay, so this is the, the first one I wanted to show you.